Hey guys, Jake from New Age Soldier here. Today we're going to be taking a look at something a little bit different. Uh, my arcade computer here, which is a 4x3 monitor, I was thinking maybe I could make this theme look like something of an older Windows, maybe Windows 95 or 98. So I created this theme right here. It's a package of different softwares and a readme that we can follow in order to convert this into that sort of theme. So I'll also show you that this is Windows 10. You can obviously tell from the start menu here, but why don't we go ahead to System, and I can show you here Windows 10. It's an i3 with uh, 8 gigs of RAM. <laughs> obviously none of this is possible in Windows 95. You can't go that high in RAM. You can't use an i3 processor, etc. So let's go ahead and theme this. And uh, so I'm, most of this tutorial is just going to be reading from this readme here and following these instructions, but at least we can see the end result in this video. So first, you would have to go to newagesoldier.com and this is the blog post right here and if you scroll all the way down we're going to be following all these steps and at the very bottom here you can press download um, and uh, once you download it you'll get the zip uh, and let's go ahead and take out these two folders or well this folder and this file readme okay now I have two hard drives on this computer um, one is a very small SSD, and the other one is a larger spinning hard drive. So I'm going to go to File Explorer, go over to the D, I'm going to put it over here. Now this folder, when we put it over here, cannot be renamed or deleted or any of the files in it can't be deleted whilst you're changing icons and other things like that. So this must stay here. So we're going to delete that copy. And in here, we're going to go ahead and follow this README. So let's go ahead and try out the screensaver section. And what we have to do is we have to copy all these .scr files. If you've never installed a screensaver in Windows, it's always the same across every uh, installation of Windows. It could be Windows XP or 7 or 8 or Vista. Either way, it's always the same. So it's under C, Windows, System32. And you just put them right here. And now that they're in this folder, when you right click on the background and press personalize, and you go to themes, under theme settings, for the screensaver over here, you now have these newer options over here. So we have things like the flower box, flying objects. maze three D pipes three D text after dark fish flying toasters. etc. Other classic screensavers. So I'll just go ahead and apply that for right now. And we'll move on to the next thing. So the next part is the startup and shutdown music. Now for this part, I've looked online and I found a few things that work for maybe Windows 8, but Windows 10, this isn't going to work. So what I did was I made a program called Shutdown Sound, and the source code is available on GitHub. And it's just this executable file right here. And to get it so it executes on startup immediately, as soon as you log in as your account, you would have to go under uh, the original control panel. So this one, the older one. I like to get the smaller icon so I can see everything. Administrative Tools Task Scheduler. And we're going to create a basic task here. I'm going to call it um, Shutdown Sound. And we're going to execute that when I log on. We're going to start a program. And that program is, I have to jump over to my other hard drive, under right here, shutdownsound.exe. Next, finish. 
and now we're going to have to run that program just one time to set it up. And it minimizes down here. This will actually hide automatically um, later. But after we click on it, we can do the startup sound, which is under here, which would be that one. And the shutdown sound will be that. And we'll just minimize that. And now it goes down into system tray. Just to make sure that it does hide, we can go into settings, taskbar, uh, select which icons appear in taskbar and you can scroll down right here see it says off so basically as soon as I'm done with that it's gonna hide itself and so that's it for the audio um, next we're gonna change the boot up screen and that will be done in win arrow tweaker so we're gonna set up this program normal mode accept the agreement um, I can set up wherever. I'll, I'm going to set it up in the D folder so it gives me more room. And give me a desktop icon for now. And let's run the program. It is a free application. So let's jump over to the boot and logon section under boot options. And let's turn off the Windows logo and the loading circles because that's not classic really. Um, we could also disable the lock screen, which is the thing that shows a big graphic of some kind. And you can also change, or you could change that to something different. And that's pretty much it. That's all we're going to use uh, this program for. So we can close that. And uh, this other part right here, when we move our cursor down here, how it does the peak there, we can disable that by double clicking on this registry file. And uh, once we restart the computer, that won't be there anymore. Next, we're going to install the Classic Shell Startup. And we can just use everything if you want to. Um, personally, personally, the Classic IE and Classic Explorer, I really don't care for. I'm just going to leave it anyways, because we can disable that later. Now, if it's your first time installing this, you're going to see Arrow. So it's going to look like either this for you, or it's going to look like that. And when you click on it for the first time, it's going to go here. And you're going to choose the classic style over here to the left, and replace Start button, Custom, Pick Image, and you're going to pick this image right here under our... Um, Actually, that'll be under our window, Win9x theme, right here, the Start button PNG. Okay, and that'll replace it for that. And then also, under here, we're going to say Show All Settings, and we're going to go over to the Taskbar setting, and we're going to, it'll be like this, it'll be unchecked, but we're going to check it. This is the color you want to use, D3, D3, D6, or I believe I put... that color as well, BF, BF, uh, we can try that, let's see what that looks like, BF, BF, um, C1, and also you're going to want to use black for the text color, um, but usually you just want to use a lighter gray color to try to match that silver color right there. So something like that. And, yep. And then we're also going to go over to settings, themes, uh, colors, actually. We're going to go over to colors, and we're going to choose one of these colors down here, which will be our highlight color here, so it's no longer blue. And you can check all three of these and that will change the title bars up here, which, you know, feels a little bit like Windows 95, and the colors down here. Now another issue is these down here icons are white, so they're, they're blending in pretty bad. They're not really showing up as strong as they should. So if we use the program Customizer God, and we go over to Volume Icons over here, we can change the high volume 
to something like this. And then uh, I like to change all the icons going across as well, because right now we have it on low volume, so it looks like it's not going to change when it's at high volume. So we're going to change. I just use the same one because it really never changed going across. As you can see there, it changed. And it never really changed um, in Windows 95. Depending on the volume level, it was always just the one icon. Then we can do the same for network icons. I usually just change this one. Uh, which should be the icon down here further. And I put them in the uh, README here for uh, showing the legacy system tray icons. So if we go to for um, networking icons, replace the icon MPRSERV. So M, this one. Now we have these icons down here. So that's pretty much it for Customizer God. And then this icon down here for the notifications section, uh, we're going to go to to the uh, settings, taskbar, um, system icons on and off. We're going to change action center to off, and that'll hide it over here. So now we're back to here, and then we also have some wallpapers so we can personalize and change the background picture, browse, we can browse over to the D drive, 9x theme, wallpapers, and here we have the cloud one um, that I like using, or this one, which is a very classic one. This is when you first installed Windows 95. This is what you were presented with. So let's also change, um, you can also do desktop icons too, so if you do um, themes, desktop icon settings. We can change these icons as well. Um, it was usually these three was on there and the recycle bin. The control panel was uh, on there, but we can't change the icon here. But if we click on like this PC and we change icon, and we go back to the D drive again, Windows 9X themes, system icons, and if I go back to my readme here, I put down which ones we need. So my computer will be Explorer 100. So that one is computer. This folder, which would usually be documents. Um, we can change that icon. And on Windows 95, I think it was maybe either a briefcase or a folder that had a file sticking out of it. I can't remember which one was Windows 98 and which one was 95. Uh, but that one would be INET CPL. So something similar to this. Network was... Shell 3219, that icon, recycle bin full, Oh, also, it seems there's a little bit of a transparency to the t to the taskbar as well. So let's change it to, to this option here, and that will then just make it solid gray all the way through. Shell 32. So you can use any one of these icons too down here. There's several recycle bin icons. That would be for full, and this one would be for empty. OK, 
Okay, so let's see what that looks like. I'm gonna have to move some of these over. So yeah, something like this, right? You'd have these three icons here, and then you'd have the recycle bin over here. And those are definitely the old icons. So yeah, that's pretty much it. Everything looks very, <laughs> very much like the old windows here. And if we, um, you can also rename this. When you set up Windshell for the first time, it will say Windows 10 Pro here or whatever system you have installed. So if you jump over to the, yeah, if you go into the menu look tab and you scroll down to right here where it says menu caption, you can actually rename it to whatever you want to. So I just named it to uh, Windows 95, so it looks there. I know the old one, this was actually a gray color instead of blue. Um, I'm sure there's an option or somewhere where you can change that. Um, but I'm not 100% sure. <laughs> it's up to you. But definitely this old style menu, I remember. And a lot of these games you can pick up on GOG, or if you have the old systems, you can use DOSBox for things like Dino Park Tycoon, uh, or a Voodoo Wrapper, something like N... And glide right here this wrapper should allow you if you install this and then you install a game like uh, Tomb Raider or something like that you should be able to play it on Windows 10 because that uh, and of course you may have to change the configuration to use the voodoo wrapper then instead of your default 3d card uh, as that will fix a lot of the issues and over here they show some of the games that work with it that where you just all you have to do is install, is install the game and if you can't install the game uh, with the installer like let's say you're trying to install um, Duke Nukem 3D or something like that you would just right click on the installer and say compatibility run in Windows 95 mode or whatever or Windows 98 mode and that would make it install then um, so yeah that's pretty much it um, I can show you the sounds working that program will launch um, but I'll have to show you outside of the OBS recorder. So let's check it out.